For weeks now, the family of 14-year-old Bobby Reyes has been looking for any alternative to disconnecting his life support. Now that fight has come to an end. To the heartbreak of so many who rallied around Bobby's family, Paula Tutman live at U of M Hospital tonight where it's been a difficult day for everyone involved. Paula. Oh, it's been a difficult, a difficult couple of weeks. I think your heart can uh, go out to anybody who was touched by this family or who touched this child, the family members, uh, the supporters, even the hospital. 14 year old Bobby Reyes was removed from life support. His mother says at two o'clock this afternoon after the family has fought valiantly with pure faith in miracles that finding more time would somehow reverse the fact that he was pronounced brain dead first on September 25th and a second time today at 1136. I left that because I can't watch them do it. And they issued the death certificate. And when they did the second test at 1136, when we told them not to do that test, we didn't give our permission for them to do that test. They did it anyways. The Downriver teen suffered a severe asthma attack and cardiac arrest. He was transferred to Mott Children's in Ann Arbor, where the family created an entire virtual support community with a picture and a plea to keep Bobby on life support until the family could find a facility or a hospital willing to keep him on indefinitely without challenge. This could be the people in my family. This could be my 16 year old nephew who has asthma. This could be her son. A written statement from the hospital reads in part, our healthcare team at Michigan Medicine extends our deepest condolences to the family of Bobby Reyes in this heartbreaking situation. A second brain death examination was conducted late this morning and Bobby was pronounced dead. Mechanical ventilation was discontinued after the family gathered in the patient's room. Just a few moments ago, Sarah emerged from the hospital spent and heartbroken. That Bobby's handprint, handprint in his hair, some of his hair. Crosses, crosses he held in his hands. And some of his hair. That's what I'm leaving with. My heart's broke. I'll never be the same. Of course, this entire family will never be the same. I understand that most of the family members were uh, with Bobby just before he was disconnected from life support. Uh, keep in mind, he has four other siblings, including a twin brother. Guys. Yeah, really tough. You just wish that family all the peace in the world. All right. Paula, thanks.